welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited because we have a really special BMW to show you guys. It's actually a frozen deep green M5 CS. So this is the F90. It's a 2022 model year only, and it's the send off for the M5. And what we think is gonna be the last ice motor in an M5. So we're, we think that every model after this is gonna be some sort of hybrid configuration. So this is BMW's big send off. So this is actually 230 pounds lighter than the competition pack F90. It's 630 horsepower. It has a carbon hood, carbon roof, carbon mirrors. It also has the carbon seats from our G80. So let's hop in and take a look at this thing. So this is the frozen deep green, which is one of the two special colors. The other one's Brands Hatch Gray, which is like a blue gray type of color. Really neat color also. This has the bronze gold surround in the grills. It also has on the M5 CS badging on the side, also on the side here on the grill, also on the back badge. It has the carbon roof, as I mentioned. It has the carbon hood that I mentioned. It also has less insulation inside. So that cuts the, it's 230 pounds lighter than this similar competition. One thing I also notice is that it does not have the soft closed doors, which I pretty much see on every M5 that we work on here at the shop. Another weight savings that BMW added. And I just, when I drove the car just a couple miles, I heard all the stones, all the rocks, it's neat, it's neat to hear that in an M5, normally you don't hear anything from the outside. In addition to all the carbon fiber on the car, which reduces the weight and reduction of insulation, BMW, however, did not get rid of the four wheel drive system or the auto trans, which are both pretty heavy systems. But I think that the manual trans are done in these cars and we won't see them like we did in the E60 and E39 and E34 and E28. Those are gone for good, unfortunately. Let's come around to the back, Dan. Okay guys, so on the back, it's got the bronze gold M5 CS badge. It's got the carbon deck lid spoiler. It also has the special CS diffuser and a specially tuned CS stainless exhaust from BMW, which actually sounds amazing. <laughs> which I wouldn't change. I probably wouldn't modify this car at all, which is crazy to me. Um, the one thing we did change was we put a Honda license plate frame so we don't break down during this video. Okay, now that we've shown you guys the awesome exterior of the CS, let's hop inside and show you the really special interior. So I'll show you my favorite first, which is the back, which if you'll notice is only two seats. It doesn't have the center seat like all other M5s have. It also carries the bucket design from the front, which is the G80 carbon seats. It carries it to the back with the same design. Has all the M, has the M seat belt, like in the competition cars. All has all the special stuff that you would wanna see basically in a CS. Let's move into the front. You guys will be familiar with the carbon seats. We've shown them a lot on the channel. Um, these are black. They have a special red stitching. They have a special really faint Nurburgring on the on the head pad, you can see. Um, it also has a sick Alcantara wheel that's special for the CS. And they actually brought the center stripe in from like the F80 CS and F82 CS that has the sort of cutout inside with a special color and they match the same red inside. It also has the really neat CS moniker like on the passenger side dash in carbon. Inside is very well done in this car. It really looks like a $150,000 car, and these right now are selling for upwards of 200K because of the limited availability of them. So let's pop the hood down, I'll show you the sick motor. So the coolest thing on the interior of the engine bay is the embossed M5 CS, which is on the bare carbon hood. It also has the functional scoops here, mounted here on the CF side, which are gloss. Um, here's the individual number for the paint, the frozen deep green metallic. S63, same as all the F90s, it has a special CS tune on it, 627 horsepower. This car actually drives night and day from a standard competition F90 or a non-competition F90. Night and day difference, feels more like kind of a GT3 type of a style of a car. You hear everything, exhaust, you hear exhaust note, you hear more of everything. The, the transmission feels different, just everything about it is, is totally, completely different. One of the things I noticed the most from a standard F90 was the throttle response. They had to have changed the throttle mapping. I mean, the response is like instant. 
it's amazing. And another video to check out is the Evo car of the year for 2022 is actually this. It beat the new GT3, it beat the actual Huracan STO from Lamborghini. So check that out. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. We're gonna put some links down in the video of who provided the car for us. Good friend of mine, he has a lot of crazy cars are gonna be featuring on the channel. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Yeah.